What is theology? Well, if you just to take the word theology, it's taken from the Greek word theos, which means God. Theology is the study of God, if you wanted to put it very simply. Uh, the study of God, his uh, relationship to mankind, what God says about mankind. I like to think of theology whenever, whenever we begin to study theology as the engine of the car. You know, the car has all kinds of components to it, air conditioner and the, the hood and the wheels. But the theology is that engine which runs the car. And in our lives, theology is what runs our lives. And you may think to yourself, well, wait a minute, you know, I'm not a theologian, so I don't have an engine in my car. Well, that's not true. Uh, everybody is a theologian. Everybody has thoughts about God. Everybody has uh, studied God in some way, whether it's just sitting around contemplating what is God like? Does he exist? Does he love me? Uh, what, what's his purpose and his plan for my life? What happens to me after I die? Where did I come from? Who created everything? Those are all theological questions. And anytime anybody has ever thought about those types of questions or discussed them, they have done theology. And so you know what theology is because it's something that you do. Um, the question is, do we do theology well? From a Christian standpoint, theology is something that we all must do. That it is part of our calling and part of our discipleship because we are those who want to think about God, want to know God. It's, it's whenever we're rising up and whenever we're sitting down, thoughts of God, thoughts of His purpose are on our lives and on our, on our mind. And whenever we are trying to figure out what theology is and how to do theology from a Christian standpoint, we turn first to the Scriptures. In the Scriptures, we find that God has revealed Himself to us. And not only has He revealed Himself to us, He has revealed uh, mankind to us. He has revealed ourselves to ourselves. He has come and introduced Himself, and He's also told us about ourselves. And so we turn to the Scriptures before all else, and it is the final source of all theology. It is the final source of what God has said, what God has done. But we also have other places that we go to for our theology. Even the Bible says that the, the stars and the heavens and all of creation tell us about God. And so they're speaking theology. Uh, whenever we look at the stars and the grandeur of the universe, whenever we look at the complexity of a cell, it's all telling us about God. And so we have many sources for theology, the Bible, creation, even our own emotions, we learn about God and, and the peace that comes from God and the conviction that comes from God, between, knowing the difference between right and wrong from an internal uh, barometer of conviction. Uh, our experiences tell us about God and, and the way He has worked in history and the way that He works in our lives. And so there are many different sources from which we derive our theology. The Bible is the primary and final source, but Christian theology is trying to bring together all of these sources and come up with an understanding, a systematic, if you will, understanding about who God is, what He has done, and what He wants for our lives.